There's a device that I've been using called a Whoop. Hello, and welcome back to iGow, international game of Whoop. We are on week number 13, and this week the trick is called Whoop Scavenger Hunt. Now that title is pretty self-explanatory, so let's just jump into the weekly requirements. This week there's only one requirement, and that's that you film all seven clips with new footage this week. You can't use any old clips that you have in your archive. You have to film all new footage. All right. So let's go over the seven required clips that you need to avoid a letter and complete the whoop scavenger hunt this week. So the first clip, number one, is a CCTV cam hover. So you need to find some type of security cam and hover in front of it for about two seconds. So that's just a short clip. Okay, number two is chase clip. So you need to have a, a clip of your whoop chasing something for about five seconds. So it can be like a person on a bike or a scooter or a skateboard, or it can be a car or a motorcycle, or it could even be another drone or an, some type of RC vehicle. You just have to be chasing something around for about five seconds. So item number three is a face punch. And if you don't know what a face punch is, it's basically when you crash into someone's face with your whoop. Now, this one is the only one we're gonna allow you to use an old clip. If you have a previous clip of you face punching someone like I'm showing here, I have a couple where I've accidentally hit people in the face, uh, then you can submit an old clip uh, just for number three. But um, if you don't have that, you're welcome to go out and face punch someone if there's someone willing to let you do that. Or um, if you don't have anyone that's gonna let you crash into them, you can do a landing on their hand instead. And item number four is a street light perch. So what you need to do to complete this item is you need to go out and find a street light or like a light in a parking lot and you need to fly up and then disarm and land on top of the light. And then when you're sitting there on top of the light, you need to do a 360 degree yaw spin while sitting on top of the light and then take off again and fly away. And that will complete your street light perch. Item number five is a slide disarm. So what you have to do to complete this item is you have to find probably like a playground with some type of slide and you have to fly up to the top of the slide, disarm, so then you slide down the slide and then rearm and take off again before you hit the ground and fly away. So you do have to actually disarm. You can't just land and go idle on the slide. You have to disarm and then rearm again uh, before you hit the ground and fly away. So item number six is the consensual stranger gate. And what that means is you have to find someone that's a stranger to you, you've never met before, and you have to ask them if they will be a gate for your whoop. So they can hold up their arms kind of like this to make a gate, or you can fly through their legs, or I've even seen people fly through people's hands like this. That's pretty cool. So uh, you just have to find a stranger and ask them to be your whoop gate. Now, this has to be consensual, you have to ask. You can't just fly up on someone and try to fly through their legs. Uh, no gate rape is allowed. And the last thing, item number seven, I'm calling Odysseus's arrow, or natural gate tunnel. If you had to read the Odyssey in school, you might remember that at the end of the 20 year journey, Odysseus comes home and to prove who he is, he shoots an arrow through a small hole in 12 axes. And that's the basis of the idea for this trick. You need to Do go I out and man. find something that could be considered a natural gate tunnel and fly your whoop through it. And when I say natural gate tunnel, I just mean that you didn't set it up yourself. It's something you found that's not on your property. So I have a bunch of examples of things that you can do, like a bike rack or different building elements, awnings, um, chairs or tables set up in a row, um, different elements of a playground will work, or um, my favorite is a barbed wire spiral that I found. So the only actual requirements for item number seven are that you go out and find the natural gate tunnel, uh, not set it up yourself, and that you fly through at least 12 gates cleanly. Uh, there's not gonna be a size requirement on the gates or a speed that you need to fly through them, but the idea is that your whoop is like the arrow and the gates are the axe handles. 
So the smaller the gates are and the faster you can fly through them, the better. So that's all seven clips you need to avoid a letter this week. And before I go, I want to mention that the weekly tinywoop.com sponsored prize is two 333 milliamp hour 1S Whoop batteries. That's pretty sweet. So I know there's no actual difficult tricks to do this week, but I think it's still going to be pretty challenging for everyone to get done. And remember, there's seven things you have to do, so I wouldn't suggest procrastinating until Sunday and trying to get them all done then. I hope you guys have fun with this scavenger hunt this week, and we get some fun Whoop clip compilations. Alright guys, have fun flying! <laughs>